Well, hockey season has come to an end, but it's never too early to look to the future. And here to help us do that is our own NHL handicapper, Ross Benjamin. Now, Ross, there's been a lot of talk lately about the Blackhawks being a dynasty after winning the Cup for the third time in six years and making it to the conference finals an astonishing five times in the last seven. First off, Ross, let me ask you what your definition of a dynasty is and do the Blackhawks fit in there? Uh, it's a successful reign. It's a well-established empire and, and dominating era. Uh, th those are all the phrases I deem to be uh, associated with a s professional sports team that's created a dynasty, and I think Chicago qualifies for all of the above for much of the same reasons that you just provided for the viewers. All right, all right. I have to agree. You know, they've seen an amazing amount of success in the last decade, and it's really quite impressive. Now let's see if they can keep it going. Got the Hawks leading the odds for the winning the Cup again next season at 7-1. to one. With their experience and skill level, I do see this a highly possible outcome. What would they need to do in the offseason to ensure that this happens? Well, it's first of all, let's touch upon how difficult it is to repeat as the NHL Stanley Cup champions. It's The last time it's occurred is 1998, and it was uh, accomplished by the Detroit Red Wings at that time. And then prior to that, it was the 1992 Pittsburgh Penguins. So it's only been done, Matt twice in the past 26 years so let's not lose sight of that and uh, as far as what they have to do first of all i'm not i haven't had access to look at their uh unrestricted free agent list this is a franchise that's done very well keeping their core players intact and in an era of professional sports where we see a lot of turnover from year to year, which is more the norm than not. Chicago has done an excellent job of keeping their uh, main players aboard through this whole entire run. That's something that needs to be addressed in the offseason. If they're able to do that, they certainly have enough experience and big-time game uh, success to once again repeat as Stanley Cup champions. But again, let's not lose sight of the fact, like I alluded to, very difficult to repeat, Matt. Absolutely, absolutely. Now, another question I got for you here to round things up. You sound a little skeptical about this. So at those 7-1 to one odds, are you going to be making an early play on them? I would steer clear of that. Um, the bottom line is I'm looking at Bavada this morning having it at 5-1. to one, And the next two in line are the New York Rangers and the Tampa Bay Lightning at 10-1. to one. So Chicago is by far and away a prohibited favorite. And just based on what I just touched upon, how difficult it is to repeat. Okay, they have won three of the last six Stanley Cups. But in that six-year period, they did not win on consecutive seasons. So I'm going to say stay away from that those kind of uh, short odds right now at this juncture. You could find a heck of a lot better value if you want to make a futures uh, pick at this juncture. And uh, I would stay away is, is what I'm trying to say in a nutshell. All right, Ross, that is very sound advice indeed. Just let me ask you one more quick question. I was poking around this morning too at these odds and uh, the high odds for not a rematch next season, but for the Blackhawks and the Rangers to go at it in the Stanley Cup Finals. Do you think that they got a shot to at least make it there again? Well, you know what? I, I, I really would take a hard, long, hard look at the Tampa Bay Lightning, to be quite honest with you, uh, in the Eastern Conference. This is a team that's very young. They only have one player that's up for free agency in the offseason. And uh, they were very close, as we, as we just witnessed, losing in six games to the Blackhawks in the Stanley Cup Finals. That's a team I really keep an eye on. And if you need to make a small bet on an NHL future right now, I would take the Tampa Bay Lightning at 10-1. to 1. All right, very interesting, Ross. Let's not forget that amazing home winning uh, streak they went on. Ross, I want to thank you again for all that sound advice. I'm sure we'll be talking some more NHL over the course of the offseason, so be sure to keep an eye out right here at SBR.com.